those prayer all those prayer papers. <laughs> so I had to walk all the way back to put them back in the table. That's how we get. I think God does it that way, so so we can work on our old people can work on their weight. Gives me extra steps. I should have one of those fancy watches that counts my steps. But I don't like technology monitoring me. How much did it cost? Now, okay, getting back to the relationship. Jesus, okay, he wants a deep relationship with us. What's the risk? What's the risk for that kind of relationship with Jesus? There is no risk. There is no risk? The only way you can go deep with somebody means there has to be a what? A risk. There has to be a risk involved. You can lose your wallet. Because if there's not a risk... It's a superficial relationship. What's the risk? You could lose your acquaintance. You could lose one risk, of course, if I go deep with Jesus, everybody around me is going to what? I'm thinking I'm pretty weird. If you live radically for Jesus, the rest of the world is going to think you're weird. Again, if you want a relationship with a friend, you got to share more about yourself. For me, it's not real. I've shared lots of stuff about myself and my family and my life, and I'll share even more this year. It's less of a risk for me. Why? Because you don't even want your anyway. <laughs> First of all, because I'm not an adolescence. And adolescence was the most important thing to you guys. Popularity. Those friendships. Okay? Are a higher priority. But you don't realize. Okay? If you have one friend that's deep, that's a gift. Because there's a lot of people in the world that what? Fake. Who don't? They don't. All their friendships are superficial. I know exactly. If I can't reveal a weakness to somebody of me, if I'm always hiding my weaknesses, then I'm that friendship is not what? Real. It's not really a deep friendship. It's a superficial friendship. Is that I got That's the risk I have to. I have to be able to say this is a weak area of my life, and and then I'm risking what? Getting made fun of. I, I'm risking that they're going to reject me. See, but God doesn't function that way. The only risk we're taking is with everybody else. If we go deep with God, if we reveal our, our hurts to God, what's he do? He already knows them. He, takes he already knows them, and he forgives us. And as we do that, what happens? As we do that, our relationship deepens. That's our goal, right? Even the apostles, when they were with Jesus, let's go to page 94, let's read this. Ninety-four it says, sometimes we think we have somebody figured out, and that person does something that surprises us, showing us a whole different side of his or her personality. How, can we, how many can relate to that? Sometimes we think we have somebody figured out, and that person does something that surprises us, showing us a whole different side. Oh, yeah, my brother. He turned out so nice when he was born, and then he turned Okay. I shared about most of my children's friends growing up. They thought I was this big, strict, mean person. 
big Why? And so were you. Yeah, because you never talk to them. Because I don't talk to them. I use all my words here at school. I know that men have fewer words to use than girl, than women do. I know, because we are really good at uh-huh. No. Okay. <laughs> As Jesus grew, disciples grew in relationship with him, they began to see Jesus in different ways. His followers had seen him preaching and healing. They knew that he was special, but they had to grow in their understanding of who he really was. What were they really expecting Jesus to be? They thought he was the Messiah, but in their, they had a mistaken view of the Messiah. Who's the Messiah? Who did they think the Messiah was going to be? Moses. Uh, uh, John. John the Baptist. Uh, Peter. No, what does Messiah mean? Savior. Savior. He who saves. Going to save them. They thought Messiah was going to save them from what? Hell. The devil. The Romans. The Romans. The Messiah was going to come, he was going to become a king, and he was going to get rid of the Romans. That's what they were looking for. So throughout, when Jesus is trying to teach him different things, I, I understand what Jesus feels like too sometimes. When you're trying to teach students something, and they don't get it, it's like, come on, get it! That's why I got that rock right there. Leo. That's Leo. Stuff, Leo. What rock? Uh, the one pin up, that's right, the one pin My pet rock over here? No, you can use the uh, metal bar and you can just start beating rock. 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 You just crank someone right against the yeah, temple the with that thing, boom. They won't talk anymore. I like that. Is that his hat or whatever? That's a golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably pretty good at golf. That's his friend. It can't be his friend, but I'm just saying it's not a rock. Okay, you want to see that rock? This one is special because he can come to you when you call him. You want to see him come? Ready? Come here, Rocky. Come here, Rocky. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he just can't hear me. He's asleep. Hey, Rock! No, he's asleep right now. Come here, Rocky. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's still on. He can't hear me. Come here, Rocky. Come here, Rocky. Good, Rocky. Look at that. It came right to me. This is also a symbol of Jesus in our life. Why? This is golf. They're One of the names of Jesus, he's what? Golf. He's our rock. We have the story in the Bible that says if we're going to build a house, put it on a rock. We need to build it on rock. We need to build it on the foundation of Jesus. So that is also the relationship here. See, but the disciples, the disciples are thinking Jesus is this guy that's going to come along and what? Save them. Save them from the Romans. That's what they're looking for. And here what happens. We read in the Gospel according to Luke that one day Jesus took Peter, James, and John up on a mountain to pray. His apostles didn't expect anything out of the ordinary because he often what? Pray. He also went up to the mountain to pray. However, they found out that Jesus was much more than their teacher and their friend. As Jesus prayed, an incredible thing happened. Suddenly his face changed and his clothes glowed wider than anything imaginable. It's kind of like when the sun just comes right into your eyes. Brighter than that. The, then two men also in shining clothing, like an angels, appeared out of nowhere and began talking with Jesus. The apostles realized that the two men with Jesus were historic leaders of the Jewish people, Moses and Elijah. Now, how they knew that, I don't know. Because Moses and Elijah had died, what? Thousands of years before. 
or hundreds at least. Moses, the lawgiver, and Elijah, the prophet, were standing before them, talking with their friend. The disciples had never seen this glorious sight of Jesus before. They had walked many dusty miles with him, stayed in places that were far from heavenly. The experience was almost too much for Jesus' friends. Then it became even more amazing when a cloud came and darkened the mountaintop, and they heard a voice from the cloud proclaiming, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. As the voice finished speaking, the apostles looked around. The cloud was gone. Moses and Elijah were gone, and Jesus alone stood there before them. We've all heard that story. Anybody not heard that story? What's that called? The mountain. You haven't heard it? No, I don't think I, I don't know. Probably. It's like the mountain. It's the story of the transfiguration. The, tra the transfiguration. Yeah. Ah. Jesus revealed what? We know that Jesus was both what? God, both God and yeah. man. So far, what's the God part that apostles had seen about Jesus? Miracles. Just a miracle. Okay? Everything else was man. You with me, Lucas? Really? It doesn't look like you look with me. Marisol, you with me? Totally? She was. You're not being authentic. That You're being... Superficial lying to me. <laughs> when you lie, that's being superficial, right? That's sinning. You are sinning. Okay. Come on, Sorry, I won't go to confession right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this. Did you not get that from? Do I have any sugar in my house? What? Oh, yeah. You got seventh grade when James was up. Okay, here's what I want you to do. We got 10 minutes. You work it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can yeah. grab one of these Bibles or grab one of those Bibles. Okay? And you're going to write down. See, Jesus trying to show him, and the Bible is full of different ways of, of uh, naming who Jesus was. Messiah. So if you turn, let's turn to page uh, 99. So in the Trinity, with this chapter, we say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So like the rock, that's the way Jesus, title for Jesus, right? The rock. He is rock. Give me another title. Um, the Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Give me another name for God. Lord. The ever everlasting Redeemer. Well, those are all names for Jesus, but I want you to get as many names for God as you can. Everlasting Father. So, so get out your. You can use the Bible if you need to. Otherwise, just write it on a sheet of paper, and then we're going to play the name game. Do we play that already this year? Are we an ABC game? Well, I'm going to give you some help now. You can, or you get some help for the game is you can write down as many names for God as you can think of. Oh, that's what I want for all. All right, so God. Then we have to decide, is that referring to God the Father? Is that referring to God the Son or God the Holy Spirit? Wait, so we can write any of them? Or? Any of them. And it's beneficial to you to go in alphabetical order. To win the name game. Because we're going to start with letter A and give me a word that describes God. You'd say what? Allah. Luke. You could say Allah. Really, Allah means God. It's now become the Muslim God, but that's not how it originally started. Luke, that was recorded. They can also be descriptions. So I don't have to be actual names. They could be descriptions. Uh, 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 Thanks for giving us.
is all three games. Like awesome. That's B. Awesome. Oh, so but I can just oh. say adjectives? Yeah. All right. Epic, Caring. awesome, dot, oh, gamer, 29. Jesus, that's our story. Oh. What's B? 